the year 2020 has been a year of shaking the world after witnessing a lot of terrifying events. On the news, we saw wildfires, floods, typhoons, wars, racial discriminations, terror attacks, deaths of some famous individuals, and the most alarming one is the COVID-19 pandemic. During the opening of the year, the virus has started to spread from Wuhan, China. And it went to the rest of the world. And now you need some source of inspiration, so what you are about to discover are the 10 powerful Bible verses that will get you through the times of pandemic. A timely reminder of God's love for you. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. The Lord God is, indeed, with you all the time. Even during hard times, he is much closer to you more than you could ever imagine. He is always there, ready to cater to your needs. For as long as you believe in him without any doubt, you are in his good hands. Psalm chapter 56 verses 3 to 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise in God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Fear is unavoidable. It is normal either. But when you can't get over it, you are in trouble. Anxiety disorder is common among people who lack faith in God. So no matter what kind of fear may exist in your mind, just overcome it with trust in God, and He never fails for that. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This pandemic might get you out of your sanity if you don't recognize God as a great source of your strength. He is the only one who can provide the help you exactly need. Bear in mind that nothing is impossible with Him. He upholds those who seek Him regardless of the degree of sin. Psalm chapter 29 verse 11 the Lord gives strength to His people, the Lord blesses His people with peace. God is abundant with blessings. Ask anything from Him through sincere prayer, and believe that you shall receive it. You are always at peace with Him. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Make it a habit to pray, especially in challenging times. Any effort you exert without the involvement of God's power will never break what seems impossible to you. Prayer should not be your last option, it should be the first. Praying habitually with thanksgiving to the Lord is vigorous. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Our mind is easily distracted by the happenings around us. That is why we need to be steadfast with the faith we hold in our God. To have full control over our minds, let us stay connected with Him through prayers. John chapter 14 verses 26 to 27 But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. 
Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. All the things that Jesus has said are true. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we receive enlightenment through reading the Word of God. This world has a lot to offer, but God only gives us the things which are best for us. He knows better than us, then why shouldn't we rely on Him? Psalm chapter 19 verse 8 But God will never forget the needy, the hope of the afflicted will never perish. Jesus has performed miracles while He was here. He was so concerned with needy people. In this generation, Jesus is still doing the same. The more afflicted you are, the more He draws closer to you. He is never blind to your situation nor deaf to your prayers. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 4 Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character, hope. Without the sacrifice of Jesus' life, we could never receive the gift of salvation. We would have been living in a chaotic world where there was no room for hope. Through Jesus, we have gained access to our loving Father. He is our only hope. Likewise, as a follower of Jesus, we need to experience suffering as it is vital for our faith. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. The Bible always reminds us of the promises of God. His word strongly urges us to remain courageous and be strong all the time. During this time of the pandemic, you can claim God's promises and see for yourself the power behind His words. I hope these encouraging promises of God have made you inspired and at peace. You can now share the hope with your loved ones, friends, relatives, neighbors, and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring videos. We are also excited to see your feedback in the comments section.